Let me take you on a quick journey. 1983, June the 13th, I heard these words. You have a right to remain silent. They call him Miranda Rights. His name is Esposito Miranda. When I went in, I had almost a high school diploma, almost, because I was in the street. So when I went in, uh, thank God that I was a squeaky wheel. The squeaky wheel is, I talked it back. If I see the roach in the food, I tell everybody not to eat. Mm -hmm. Now all this is leadership in which I don't know. I was the squeaky wheel. So they said, you know what? We ain't gonna let this guy stay in population. So they put me in solitary confinement. They put me in solitary confinement for 10 years. I came out one hour a day. I supposed to be nutty than a fruitcake. But what happened, I was getting what? I was getting ready for this mission. Because if it was a job, I would have been left. This crazy. I've been to over 200 and some funerals. This ain't, this here is another book coming. This ain't got nothing to do with that. That's just an introduction of who I am and what I went through to get where I'm at today. So what y'all getting right now is what's going on today. Over 200 and some funerals. Last week, I went to seven weights and seven funerals. I just, I think it was the day before yesterday, I just spoke at another one. Three of them was females. Now, this is today. This ain't in the book. This is what's happening today. So, all that lockup, I'm connecting the dots now. All that lockup, counting the Rice Krispie, 1,759 Rice Krispie in the box. Counting the seconds down, 86,400 seconds a day. Don't forget now, I don't have no diploma, right? Then I became a philosopher. I became a lawyer, Johnny Cochran. I love you, Thoroughgood Marshall. Right, one thing in the world you'll never get punished for, and that's given, Josephine Baker. So I had a chance to read one book a day for 10 years. So I became all these different people, as a psychology, which was my major, because I wanted to find out what made me tick. Why is I doing this? Why is I keep going back and forth? So I had to study John Watson, Pavlov, Skinner, the dog, the saliva. Then I met another guy's name was Einstein. I wanted to know why his hair was going that way, and I found out why. Because he said, he said life is like riding a bicycle. You keep your balance, you got to keep moving. And then I wanted to find out. I said, well, that ain't enough. Give me something else. He said, fashion your seat up. Because uh, 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 he was talking about God. He said he wanted to think like the creator. I said, whoa. Then I started reading about the, uh, uh, what's my man name, uh, uh, Plato and Socrates and all these guys. I want to drop this on you because it's coming to my mind. He's, he's coming. So I read everything when the guy came and said, Socrates, I want wisdom like you. And so Socrates said, well, come on, lad. That was the jogging that they was using during that time. And he took this lad to the ocean and he took his head and he put it in there. And the guy said, man, I got to ask you for wisdom. He said, I want to ask you one question. What did you want most while your head was underwater? He said to breathe. He said, that's how you want to walk west though. So I said, whoa, so now I'm traveling, journey. I said, wow, so my diet, my whole life was reading. Then I went to Thoroughgood Marshall. He said, one thing about telling the truth, you don't have to remember what you said. Then I became a lawyer. Then I started studying. I found this case called Ferretta versus California. Don't forget now, still no degrees. But the degree came from where? From the creator. So I started reading. Then I started reading about a lady named Harriet Tubman. She made 19 trips, not one trip, 19 trips. And you mean to tell me if something, somebody wants something to eat, I got a question with him, but what you gonna do with the money? That ain't my job. My job is to give him the money, to feed him, and keep it moving. Because we judge too much. They had a book uh, by this lady called Terry Williams. It's called Personal Touch. It says, uh, watch how you judge people because if you know their secrets, it may make you weak. I say, whoa, so I'm doing all this reading. Then I read about this other guy, the peanut guy, but it was more than a peanut. His name was George Washington Carver, sold him for a broken down horse. See, when I was reading, I wasn't reading surface stuff. See, I had to read to find out what's up. The Johnny Cochran stuff, uh, uh, my man, the white guy, a uh, cussler, with the, cause when I was under Ferretta versus California, I went in and was acting like I was him. I said, yeah, I'm white today. You see what I'm saying? So color didn't have no issue because what I was doing, I was on a journey. Wait till y'all, and wait till you read this, you're gonna be like, oh my God. Everybody who read the book, uh, the sister was just telling me. She said, I couldn't put it down because it's real, you know. So I started reading and then the next thing you know, I was getting people out. And they say, hey, we gotta ship you out of here. 